Um, and where is the thing I wanted to talk about? Right in the style of the skylines of Columbia. So, calling it out. Ah, oh, here we are. So they're showing you, hey, if you somehow got 375 um, uh, silver coins, you could unlock the Bronco earlier than you should. Um, much, much earlier than you should. Now, I don't know if that's even possible. If you could sit here and you get every little thing and you can find every little trash can, I would think that's the reason why that exists. Um, which has got to just completely change the whole intro to the game. I'm very interested about that. But I'm not going to um, take the time on this playthrough to find that out. Now, if you're interested in those kind of ideas, you might be a good game tester. Um, also, they draw your attention to voxophones. This... What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record so that if you haven't come across a box in front of they uh, they want to make sure that you understand about what the boxophones are and why they're useful oh I love this moment too just just flavor just beautiful flavor um, If you hear that, Daisy Fitzroy, so you get to hear, um, audio-wise, you get to hear a lot of foreshadowing, um, and they get to reinforce the same, um, you get to hear the same names over and over and over again. Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel! Alright. You're gonna be my bitch later. Alright, anyway. Now, um, I'm out of time, so I do need to stop this, and I'll start another video. Welcome back. It's Brainstorm with Brian Sturm. I'm a gamer, a game designer, and I used to be a game tester. And uh, this is Bioshock Infinite. I'm hopefully going to play through and give you my opinions. Sometimes I'll give you some game industry knowledge. Um, not trying to be 100% educational, but you can take away from it what you want. And of course, to my fellow uh, game industry people, I want to let you know that when I do react to something or I criticize something, it's me as a gamer, Brian Sturm, which I believe I'm allowed to have my opinions. But I do respect um, your time and the constraints and your decisions on what you had to do to release your game for your market. Okay, so they had this big long thing and they let you play around with a bunch of stuff. And then they want to make sure that you get a nice summary. Bop, 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 bop. So, you know, you get a real, you get a real summary of what's going to be, be given to you. And you got this creepy ass bastard. Um, and they purposely look at what they did here artistically they have this mist they darken it right you've got all of this sunshine and suddenly you're in darkness which allows the counterpoint of a big bright glowing green uh shop market um i mean it's going to be really hard to miss this right you got to be just retarded to miss all of that um, four flavors beautiful little things like that there's a little art bug. So, I mean, once again, you have a darkness right there. Now, anybody knows what that was? That's probably that these things uh, were a certain height. Then uh, the railing got moved up or the balls got moved up or down. Or this is a three, the Xbox 360, and that texture just didn't get loaded or wasn't able to make the cut and that's just a that's a programmer or design decision that had to be made because um, this is not the PC and it can't handle all the textures uh, anyway once again reminding you you're in the key section of the game you're not in the sword section of the game you're not in the written word section of the game um, not much up here now, also, everyone's getting drawn to this, and then this gets used nice and fast. But if you if you did go here and you're like, I want to buy a ticket, 
The raffle is all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. I'm guessing that don't mean me. And a um, little bit of a creep factor, have his clothing all shredded there at the bottom. You almost have this disemboweled kind of thing going there. Beautiful. Anyway, so moving on to this. Give me one of those. It's just a whisper. They're all ears. I'm pretty sure I had something like this happen to me in Amsterdam. Mm. Matrix. <laughs> These are fantastic. What the hell was that? Now Obviously, they try to make this easy. I'm surprised that they put it over here. Um, I'm surprised that the Vic, that that salts thing isn't bone retardedly closer. Um, but um, now you notice how they do the highlighting here. Um, so if you're completely lost in the, in the game and you're not a very good gamer. You're going to be seeing that, right? Okay. Um. Now they do have that, and they do have a chance over here for you to, to understand what's going on here with, um, with uh, how figures work. Ah, oh, I love this moment. I'm really proud of how much I figured out about the story of this game on my first playthrough, although I haven't finished the game yet. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh? Tails, Booker. Tails, Booker. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. No. Um. These are wonderful little bits of uh, audio. If you listen to this. Um. We won't leave until you do. You have my word on that. I love this. Say it. It does show a certain lack of initiative. Say it. Say it, lady. If you keep this up, I'll be forced to start repeating myself. We won't leave until you do. You have my word on that. He does show a certain lack of initiative. If you keep this up, I'll be forced to start repeating myself. We won't leave until you do. You have my word on that. Um. I mean, they literally, in every aspect, are representing one choice or the other, male, female, um, yada, yada. No. You, you heard that audio, that my, my, my? You notice that right when I walked about right here is when that started? I'm gonna steal from your back. I don't know, there's nothing to steal. Oh, that's right. God, they said Shelby. If they sold these on like Amazon, I would buy one of these. A little plush toy. Fantastic. Not really talking much there. There we go. Look at that one. He looks lost. <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I loved her little shoulder that she just did there. Um, for anybody who is, who knows animation and knows the constraints that have to go into making um, this game, you really appreciate the animations that are done in this game. Fantastic. Really impressive work. 
Um, the facial animations are just just impressive. Um, I mean, of course, they spent time on Elizabeth. Everyone, I mean, you have to make sure that there's a good uh, relationship between the player and Elizabeth. You know, see that little bit of clipping. Um, like as a game tester, I don't even practically, you know, I wouldn't. I leave those bugs to new game testers who feel like they have to bug every little thing like that. I don't, I'm I, when I stopped being a game tester, I was I had moved on to more important issues. This little beauty, ah, the whole division got them. If we're gonna flush the box out of the skyline system. We gotta have the best. Uh, they got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some box skull. <laughs> To get you a little preview of that, um, if if you walk that way, right? Oh, oh, here's hold to look, hold to look. Oh, oh. Okay, um, my first playthrough, I saw hold to look, and I would look, and then I thought, oh, I'll look around for the for um, binoculars. I've never seen that it was that. Anyway, um, because I, I would look around, I'm like, where are the binoculars? And I thought it was a bug. It turns out it wasn't a bug. It was, they were trying to give you a preview of um, Elizabeth's little um, zappy zappy thing. Now, kids being kids. Now, one of the things when you do when you have a, a game system that lets you just press X and you gather all items, you do end up you're 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 increasing your game flow. Your gamers are going to get to have a uh, faster game. But if you notice the way I play and where I bet the majority of you play, you don't care what's in there. You just X X X X. So you, a lot of times you end up missing what you just picked up. And now this is a tried and true. Everybody knows about this. Um, uh, I just wanted to uh, just wanted to point that out because it is a decision. Dollar bill, y'all. Mm. Oh, that's right. I did talk about this other on my other playthrough. Um, you notice, uh, you know, if I use my possession, I can't go back and re up on the salts. Now that's not the reason why this wall is here. This wall is here is because all kinds of interesting art and scripted events are going to get loaded in over here. That means they got to unload it from the rest of the game. There's all this other stuff that's just way too much stuff to have in the memory. Also, the, you can't have... Yeah, you basically don't want to have a player go all the way over here and there's some unloaded texture. And because of either... Uh, from a game design standpoint, you don't want the player to go back or from a technical standpoint, you don't want the player to run back and some textures unloaded. Um, so what you do is you stop the player from going back and then you can safely unload everything that you can't see here has been unloaded, probably, in all likelihood. And it, it frees up memory um, t and possibly processing power, I think just memory though, um, to render new stuff. Uh, anyone wants to see an example of a level that you can run back and get unloaded, go play Gears of War 2. And when you first uh, go down a big long hill, and you and then you fight off some guys with some, uh, you use artillery to shoot down uh, up on some uh, locust guys. And then there's a cut sequence and a giant worm chomps through. And then you're supposed to go up a hill and fight some people out of chapel. Well, stop when you see that giant worm. Stop and go all the way back, all the way back up that hill again, and you'll see uh, the whole level is unloaded. Um, so you see gigantic black hole gapes in, in Gears of War 2. Because, um, you know, 99.9% .9 of people are never going to go walk up the hill like some idiot game tester like I was. Uh, I, I bugged that, by the way. Anyway. Um, so that's the reason why that might be the reason why that um, that gate closed behind me. That's a great little moment. 
Remember I talked about how they let you see his hand, see his hand, and get little previews of it? And then when you see this, you're like, wait, this is like his hand. What the f And if you notice also that my movement speed was reduced by about 80%, they want to make sure I didn't walk past this moment. Um, so they have to have a functionality for that. Um, that's... Okay, I know what that is. Okay, never mind. All right. And, uh, I mean, obviously, if someone wants a real walkthrough of this game that isn't incredibly slow and talking all the time, then you should walk some... You should watch an actual um, walkthrough. I believe um, The Rad Brad off of YouTube. I enjoy him. He's, he makes me laugh. And uh, he does a walkthrough of this, of this game that's pretty interesting. Um, so, my, by the way, they're trying to get you used to seeing the, the name Jeremiah Fink. He's an important enough character. Um, once again, level design-wise, think about um, the, the straightest line path for a player is probably always going to be to... Um, the most interesting thing or the thing that you want them to stay on track with. Um, so as I'm playing, if you like level design or, or you think you're going to be a game designer, part of game design is level design. Um, keep track of that kind of stuff. Sorry, son. This street is closed. Anyway. Beautiful moment. To me, this is just... It's a nice scene. Um, I even like the choice that they did for the um, for the fans on the on the propellers, the way they made them curve like that. Now, also, gamers subconsciously are used to this, and they even talk about it. But um, uh, you notice how you're always going to have some kind of thing to fill up all your health or all your items uh, before a big fight. And these are these little clues. There are two things. One, they actually ensure success for the average gamer. They make sure that you can get through and not be slowed down. And also feel like you suck. Um, there's a lot of people who stop playing a game because they die. Um, that's the generation of gamers that are out there now. And also, once again, this is for a more major market who aren't necessarily gamers per se. Uh, the other thing is it kind of lets... Um, what the hell? Where was that? It lets um, lets gamers like us know that we're gonna have something to fight, something the event's gonna happen. Um, now I want to. Oh, I'm gonna stop this video and move on to the next one. Welcome back. It's Brainstorm with Brian Storm. I'm a gamer, a game designer, and I was a game tester. And I'm playing Bioshock Infinite. And uh, I'm going to try to sometimes impart some game industry knowledge or game designer knowledge uh, if I can. And uh, you can take whatever education you can from it. Um, and to my fellow game industry people, I do want to let you know that whenever I do criticize something or I am unhappy with something, that it's me, a human being, and a gamer reacting to it. I'm definitely not criticizing my fellow worker. I understand uh, budget constraints and time constraints, and you have to make your decisions and your calls the way you see them. Um, but I believe I'm allowed as a human being to have my reactions. All right. Well, again, anybody who's into art, look what they're doing here. Um, try to pay attention to uh, not only the color schemes, but um, the lighting and exposure. They're, this early part of this game is really playing around with exposure um, a lot. Very interesting stuff that they're trying to get going. Now, because I did play through this sequence once, I'm going to... I want to walk through this backwards because I want to see this happen. Ah, there it is. Now, I wonder if I could have gotten myself in trouble. Probably not. So you see those people and they closed in behind you? Now, 
you're never going to really get that. If you hear that Mr. Mr., by the way, I, would, I do want to talk about this audio in a second. Um, what does that girl want? Lots of good stuff there. I, I am interested if I had walked in backwards and then had walked forwards, if I would have gotten into some kind of um, nasty um, invisible wall closing down on me. An invisible wall would have popped my character out. Um, anybody who understands the Unreal Engine, uh, Gears of War, and all those kind of things, you know that you can get popped up in the air or slammed down in inside out of the, the game world. Um, but more than likely, that invisible wall and that animation triggered so safely, and then the animation followed, and it, the, the invisible wall has nothing to do with the animation of these three characters running out here. I just wanted to show it to you. I wanted to walk backwards for people to notice how that closed in behind you. All right. Now, um, the other thing I wanted to point out was the audio. You have multiple. They want to make sure that you, you don't feel frustrated. So maybe if you're not a good gamer and you don't see a big bouncing glowing icon over that girl. Um, she calls your attention. Your, your booker character calls attention to what's that girl want? And I bet you every 20 seconds she's still going to call me. Or maybe she'll do a wave animation. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for proving my point. Um, this is all to help the average gamer.